O oh, thou mightiest of winged beasts, thou beast with wings. O oh, thou mighty beast with wings, please spare us, for we are just pure village people of the land. Thou wingedest beast, do not take us up to the air with you. Uh, no. Let me get up. Thou winged beast with hooves that takes us up on the high and give me a bloody nose. Oh. Oh. Thy winged beast. Oh, 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 oh. Together. I sacrifice to you my two eldest children. <laughs> For the beast. Beast, don't take us. I am the beast! I 
think tonight we should eat all of the meal on our plates because there are people starving elsewhere. Mom, you always use that people are starving in Africa analogy, but your food tastes like crap. So. <laughs> it's a little bland, Mom. It's a little bland. <laughs> Well, you think people who are starving elsewhere have cookbooks and spices and paprika? They do. I've been to borders. I've seen them. <laughs> yeah, I had a study abroad in South Africa last I, summer, and they were eating pretty well of it. Borders, borders is in the bookstore. Borders is in the edge of our country facing other countries. I just want to know your, your base of information. It's mom. both, Mom. Why don't you know the answer to that? I am the more I can write, the more that can. So, I mean, or excuse me, California, the border of Mexico, or somewhere in California. I'd actually like to know why you don't know where we live. Taboo last week at the race. 
Uh, not everyone showed up. That was the taboo. <laughs> so I, I really called this jockey meeting to, to get some explanations as to what everyone was doing instead of their job, which is show up to the race. Just clarifying question. Do you mean nobody showed up? I wasn't here, so I'm not sure. <laughs> some people showed up. Everyone invited to this meeting did not show up. <laughs> The ones who showed up then don't have to show up now. I feel like yeah. if they're showing up, they should be showing up. I will tell you why I wasn't here. Oh. <laughs> you were the first person I was going to ask you, Rob. This thing, I had my horse, and I thought I would staple on to it wings to make it go faster, but I ended up killing it instead. So I had to bury it in my backyard, and I went to sleep. Okay, so I will be <laughs> the reason is you killed your horse and accidentally accidentally and then you slept it off afterwards. Yeah. So, no, it was this whole time after you killed the horse to show up to the race. I'm trying to figure out what was really the main reason here. <laughs> Probably digging. Probably just digging for the Alright, I'll tell you why I did it. <laughs> I was late to the race because I am over and I thought I would weigh my horse down, and I thought he could win without me. <laughs> I watched, he didn't. He didn't know where to go. <laughs> we all know you have a weight problem, but you've been working on that, and we support you. Support you, man. Yeah. yeah, we got all those bracelets for you. <laughs> That's wrong. Yeah. That's it's kind of is. sweet. <laughs> I, uh, I, I just, I've never won a race, and it seemed like the only way. You're never gonna win a race if you don't show up. Right? Well, I explain why I thought it would work. Hang in there. Um, well, if no one else is gonna no, explain was, why they, they didn't come. I went before, but I'm gonna go again. I wasn't there, so I did not show up. But I am here now. <laughs> all right, there's more. All right, all right, there's more. Okay. While I was sleeping it off, the horse must have. Acquired some type of zombie powers. <laughs> dug out of the ground, and I heard this little hoof knocking at my window. And I woke up, and this half dead horse was just staring at me with his little fake makeshift wings. And I got scared, and I ran to my closet, and I grabbed a shotgun, but I didn't have any bullets in the shotgun. So I ran out, and I clubbed the zombie, packaged this horse to death, and then I buried it again, and I went back to sleep. Oh, we've all, we've all <laughs> um, I'm sorry, I know you guys both wanted your burgers cooked medium rare, but we could only do uh, the rare is the only way we could cook it. I'm sorry, it's the cook is really specific. Where is no. it just? <laughs> you <laughs> his feet at the table of the king, and he finds the meat is not cooked to his liking. He then... I want that... You go second. Thank you. I want that red blood on your soul, since it's not in my mouth, dripping the way it should be, juicily. All right. <laughs> Here at Red Robin, we really try to put the customers first. So, since this clearly has affected you guys so much. Is there a problem with your order? <laughs> <laughs> yes, there is. Even you will find our meat is not cooked satisfactorily. I think we can sing it though. I do apologize. <laughs> It's too late. You missed a chance with these two guys. <laughs> we were in for some burgers and fries. But now you're done. Well, he in. <laughs> I think we got the part. You're, you're a casting director. Right. This is my manager, Cynthia. <laughs> I'm also a singer. <laughs> I'm also hungry. I'd like a number five. <laughs> and a five, six, seven, eight. Uh, all right, uh, Phil, Ted, 
you guys are late on rent again, I'm going to ask you to just move out. Sorry. When one comes to the edge of one's life, <laughs> you find a chasm between you and who you ought to be. That's the chasm you're on the edge of, Gerard. <laughs> the chasm of not actually having rent right now, so unless you can cough it up in about five minutes, I need you out. You go set it. Listen, petty man. Petty you, man. You have your dollars and cents, but we have undeniable talent! I mean, I think somebody can deny it. It's so. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry to say that one of you is uh, going to die of uh, Oh my god. Mesophilioma. When one is on the edge of one side of the castle of life. Like... Do you want to explain how such a location could exist? 
Uh, yeah, Have so. Have you seen a map? Go for it. Yeah. <laughs> Man, they haven't, they're not going to get to double jeopardy this episode. <laughs> so this is the line that shall divide our countries. Ooh. <laughs> How dare you. We were meant to be in this together. Now you're just gonna tear us apart like that? I'm sorry, South Korea. This is it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so rules. Yeah. Well, we're in the better side. So. Oh! We have the nukes. We have the nukes. Can we get some of those back? Just no. in case we need them. No. I heard soul rules. Why don't you look into your soul and find out how you can make some nukes? <laughs> Besides your nukes, yeah, which may or may not exist. We got Dennis Rodman. Ooh. And prisoner camps. Yeah. And nukes. I'm I'm sorry. Dennis Rodman did it for me. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are so cool to hang out in South Korea, though, right? Bring hang out in Seoul's gonna be a lot of fun. Who knows how far those nukes can go? All right? They're not that Pretty cool. Far. <laughs> Dennis Rodman here. I just wanted to. But you know that I, I kind of am feeling the whole South Korea vibe, you know, I'm uh, the nukes are scaring me, you know? I think it's time to be... Yep. Mini nuke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we weren't kidding about it. North Korea, we have nukes. All sizes. No, I believe so. <laughs> Colon. Colon? Yeah. It goes before. I messed up the slogan. <laughs> this is my lovely little Greek that I can't get sentences right. Robin, this is your Korea. Man. <laughs> so we're actually a pretty shitty place. <laughs> Man, this U.S. me getting really shitty. <laughs> <laughs> <Man, it's laughs> I was lying in bed, and I, I don't know. I was I was going through puberty at the time. There was lots of other weird stuff happened, so I was like, "Oh, oh God, another nocturnal omission." But then I realized it was something else. <laughs> and it was on my back, <laughs> and, and that was it. I sprouted early, and all the other boys would like try to like brush up on my wings. <laughs> Mine happened in geometry class, and I was so embarrassed, I used my binder to hide it. More like trapping because it's got like the, the pegasus on the outside, right? Yeah, exactly that kind, yeah. My wings are actually just socks. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. We we take all kinds of here. This is an open group. Yeah. I used to be a jockey horse. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes! I have fallen! <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, I forgot we were stealing these hot tissues. So, so, so did, we, did we get it? <laughs> we didn't try so hard. I don't think he's in charge of the decisions here. <laughs> he's a mere peasant who brings you tea. You Samuel! Maybe we should be real. Maybe. Maybe we're not meant to be actors. Maybe that leaves room for another! <laughs> Thank you. 